Three headless figures kneeling with their arms tied behind their backs, these represent the enemies of Osiris. Behind these stands a fierce cat-headed, or, lynx-headed, god, who holds a huge pointed stake in one hand, and flourishes a large knife in the other. Three foes of Osiris lying on their backs, round the right arm of each a rope is tied, and the other ends of the three ropes are in the hands of a god called Anko. Three bearded, human-faced hawks, wearing on their heads the double crown of the south and north, the first is called Satathanan, the name of the second is Wanting, and the third is called Mam or Mat. A huge serpent, which bears on its back a god in a sitting posture, the god is called Afutem, and the remains of the text which refers to him say that he shoots forth his flame at those who rebel against Osiris, and that he eats the souls of the enemies of the god. In the lower register are the god Harohurkandef, seated on a throne, as his name implies. He is hawk-headed, and wears the solar disk encircled by a serpent, in his right hand is the symbol of life, and in his left a scepter. The other forms of his name are unknown. Stars are personified by gods, twelve in number, who stand each with a star on his head. Their names are you are Kurt. Kekert. Nebkertal. Tuwadi. Hyatt. Haiku. Emidae. Tisare. Emae. Semnesef. Tezememotef. Sikertapu. Twelve goddesses of the hours, face to the right, having each a star on her head. Their names are Hekanuthath, Neten, Netnet, Tuatheth, Amantetermen, One Name Erased, Anath, Anath, Tate, Aridku, Aridaru, Uatestes. In front of the hours is an enormous crocodile called Abshaham Tuat which is described as Osiris, the Eye of Ra. The crocodile stands upon a long funeral mound, out of the end of which, immediately under the head of the animal, appears a bearded human head, i.e., the head of Osiris. The scene that illu illustrates the eighth division of the Tuat, which is passed through by the sun god during the eighth hour of the night, is introduced by four lines of text. In the middle register are 1. The boat of the sun, in which the god stands under a canopy formed by the body of the serpent Mehen, being towed along by nine gods. 2. Nine large objects somewhat in the form of the hieroglyphic shims, which has the meaning of follower or servant. Unlike this sign, however, each of the nine objects is provided with a huge knife, and from the curved end of each is suspended a human head. M. Maspero is undoubtedly correct in describing these as the servants of the god. The names of the nine servants are 1. Hetepta 2. Amen 3. Sashita Bayu 4. Sikin Kaibit 5. Nebi Archer 6. Menu 7. Mathanu 8. Metrui 9. Parimu. 3. Aram, having the solar disk between his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him. He is an image of Tathanan, of whom he is the first form. 4. Aram, having the crown of the south between his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him. He is an image of Tathanan, of whom he is the second form. 5. Aram, having the crown of the north between his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him. He is an image of Tathanan, of whom he is the third form. 6. Aram, having the solar disk and a pair of plumes above his horns, and the symbol of linen bandages in front of him. He is an image of Tathanan, of whom he is the fourth form. In the upper register are five circles of the tuat and a door, which may be thus described. 1. This circle, which is called Sashita, is entered through a door with the name of Tez Neb Tirer, and in it are seated. 
1. The image of Tem, wearing the white crown. 2. The image of Kepera. 3. The image of Shu. Each of these is seated upon an instrument for weaving. 2. 2. This circle, which is called Tuat, is entered through a door with the name of Tez Ahatathanan, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Tefnet. 2. The image of Seb. 3. The image of Nut. Each of these is seated upon an instrument for weaving. 3. This circle, which is called as Netaru, is entered through a door with the name of Tezakem Bayu, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Osiris. 2. The image of Isis. 3. The image of Horus, hawk-headed. Each of these is seated as before. For, this circle, which is called Akibi, is entered through a door with the name of Tez Sheda the Hen Netaru, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Ka Amentet, bull-headed. 2. The image of Ba Netaru, ram-headed. 3. The image of Rim Netaru, ram-headed. Each of these is seated as before. 5. This circle, which is called Netsi Munifu, is entered through a door having the name of Tenz Kikiu, and in it are seated. 1. The image of Katri, Iknuman headed. 2. The image of Afi, animal headed. 3. The image of Ari Anb Phi, Sinocephalus headed. Each of these gods is seated as before. 6. An open door, called Tez Kaibatatuashu, beyond which is a goddess. In the lower register are also five circles, and an open door, which may be thus described. 1. This circle, which is called Hedipat Nebes, is entered through a door having the name of Tetsem Ermanta in it are. 1. A goddess standing upright, called Amum. 2. The serpent Mehenta. 3. Three arrows lying on the top of these are the arrows of Ra. 4. A rain-headed god, seated on, instruments for weaving. His name is Nebrikit. 2. This circle, which is called Hikmet Kimio, is entered through a door having the name Tez Ra Keftiu F in it are. 1. Nut, bearded and man-headed. 2. Ta, bearded and man-headed. 3. Sebek Ra, crocodile-headed. 3. 3. This circle, which is called Hap Simus, is entered through a door having the name of Tez Sikamaru, in it are four mummied gods, each with an instrument for weaving in front of him, and their names are 1. Hebset 2. Senkit 3. Tebet 4. Temtet 4. This circle, which is called Sihurt Bios, is entered through a door having the name of Tez September Neset, in it are four mummied gods, each with an instrument for weaving in front of him, and their names are 1. Keku 2. Menhi 3. Cherku 4. Kebsta 5. This circle, which is called Aat Sataka, is entered through a door having the name of Tezku, in it are four Urii, each of which rests upon its instrument for weaving, and their names are 1. Arid Ank 2. Rerid Ank 3. Nezard Ankhat 4. Septat Ank 6. A door called Tez Amum Mitm Shada F, beyond it is a figure of the god Nu, who appears to be over the Chamber of Destruction. Having passed through the 8th division of the Tuat, the boat of the sun arrives at the 9th division, which is passed through by the sun during the ninth hour of the night. A line of text runs above the upper register. In the middle register are 1. The boat of the sun, with the god Aphu standing under a canopy formed by the serpent Mehen. 2. The twelve sailors of Ra, each of whom stands upright, and holds a paddle in his hands, their names are 1. Kenu, i.e., the sailor par excellence. 2. Akem Sekf. 3. Akem Erdef. 4. 
Akam Hemi F. 5. Akam Hap F. 6. Akam Nims F. 7. Ken Unnut F. 8. Hapti Ta F. 9. Hitep Wa. 10. Netter Netteru. 11. Cha Tuat. 12. Tepi. 3. A bearded, man-headed hawk, wearing plumes and horns on his head, seated on a basket or bull. His name is Muti Kenti Tuat. 4. The ram god Nesti Kenti Tuat, couched on a basket or bull. 5. The cow goddess Net Auh Kenti Tuat. 6. A bearded god, in mummied form, called Hetpet Netter, or Hetepet Netteru. In the upper register are 1. Twelve gods, each of whom is seated upon the symbol of linen swathings, their names are 1. Nehata 2. Teba 3. Madi, or Ariti 4. Mankit 5. Hebs 6. Neti 7. Asti Netter 8. Asti Pot 9. Heat Met Ku 10. Neb Pat 11. Temtu 12. Men A 2. Twelve Goddesses, whose names are 1. Parrot 2. Shimat Ku 3. Net Shat 4. Net Shef Sheft 5. Aatiatet 6. Net Seta 7. Hent Nut S 8. Net Mat 9. Tezard Ant 10. Aat Ku 11. Seket Medu 12. Nidard N Kentet Ra In the lower register are 1. 12 Uriai, which are mounted each on its instrument for weaving, and each pours forth fire from its mouth, their names are Name Unknown 2. Tikate Name Unknown 4. Cut to it 5. Tertneshin 6. AP Shet 7. Ankhet 8. Shinten M Name Unknown 10. Aat Aru 11. Net Wao 12. Net Rika Above the Uriya is a mutilated line of text. 2. Nine bearded gods, who stand upright, each holds the symbol of life in his right hand, and a staff, the upper portion of which is in the form of a wriggling snake, in the left hand. These gods are under the direction of a god in mummied form, whose name, or description, is Hera Hershituati, i.e., Horus who was over the lakes in the Tuat. The names of the nine gods are 1. Sekti 2. Am Seket F 3. Nihabadi 4. Tkamudi 5. Nebadi 6. Hek Neteru F 7. Panari 8. Tisarari 9. Aha Seket